stomping here at B&M today to pick up some clams so we can salt them. Uh, watch this video, you'll learn how to do it. Okay, the things that you're gonna need. Uh, paper towel. Uh, I like a Ziploc bag. Uh, seems to be a little bit easier uh, when you're first salting clams. And then everybody loves a little gelato or some, and that little queso dip. But recycle your jars. This is an easy way to recycle. Uh, save the environment a little bit. Uh, this is just an extra container for guts and bad stuff. You need a thing of salt. Uh, Un-iodized, non-iodized, just regular salt. I have fresh clams. And then I have two uh, brands of, of clams that you can buy at local bait shops. I picked these up at uh, B&M, like I said earlier. Uh, but these are Bionic. Uh, they have a little bit more color uh, than the Baitmaster. Baitmaster has has been the leader in the industry for long, lots of years, especially with other baits. But, uh, but they have uh, this, they're still frozen. So you gotta let them uh, thaw out a little bit and we'll, we'll look through there. Uh, the other thing, is if you don't want to do all this, we have other alternates that uh, be able to get you a little bit of information. That's native salted clams. Uh, they do a good job and it's not messy uh, if your wife doesn't want this in the garage uh, or in your house or your living room, in your kitchen, then this is the easy alternative route. Um, Killian does a good job uh, with these baits. They obviously come in colors. Um, and then there's also just the salted uh, clam tongues and a bunch of other things too. So, uh, but we have bait master, we have the bionic bait, which is uh, bait clams, and then fresh clams. Also, you need a pair of scissors or a knife. Or a knife. Uh, this is a nice Rada uh, cutlery knife that I usually do a lot of my flaying with. Uh, I got this in Milwaukee. Uh, it doesn't look like it's stainless, but it still works really good. And if you watch any of my other videos, you'll see me uh, cracking clams with that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the knife. I don't uh, feel as comfortable with that. So put that away. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with, uh, with the regular live clams. And all you have to do is just bang them together. And there's your mess. Uh, and you'll see that. And what you want to do is you'll just have your little container here for all your scraps. You want to take this to the beach and get rid of it. Uh, but if you have a fr freezer that you can freeze it, you'll have all this stuff and, and however many that you do make. So when uh, when looking at this, you got a lot of these strips. Uh, that's one thing about uh, native salted clams is they get to use those. Uh, we don't uh, get to use those as well. You can uh, if you'd like. But we're just pulling the tongue out just like that. And you could pull this stringer out here. Um, and if you want to know more about that, then watch uh, the video by, video by Killian on native salted clams. But they, they salt these and they call them stringers. Uh, I don't really do that, but uh, you can do that. So I've got everything just put in there. Now, remember, clams are clams, so pretty juicy. Uh, got a lot of stuff all over. So I've got my extra right there. I have live clam, but I'm, they're gonna go bad, so I'm gonna cut them in thirds. And just like that, and you can see that. So I got three pieces of clam here. Also, look at the color. The color is uh, one of the big things, uh, and also the flavor when you get down to it of using fresh over uh, other baits. So, and we're just gonna put those on the paper towel over here for now. And you can see that. And then I've got this whole nother piece here. Now I'm just going to cut that in thirds. Also, remember color, fish like color, so. Let me put that into three pieces there. And put that over here on the, on the paper towel. Now, when I'm looking at the, the other, this is called the tongue. And the tongue, this one's frozen. But this one's, this is the tongue here. And you can see that, it's kind of thawing out now. And inside, it's, it has guts. So there's some guts right there. And you don't want that. That's soft. It won't be very good for you. So you can see the tongue now. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that junk off right there. Throw it in the recycling bin uh, for when we go to the beach the next time. Now you can salt this, cl this clam just like this. Uh, you can put it right there and you can salt it. And then when you go to the beach, you have a big tongue that you can cut off of. Or you can actually cut them. Uh, and, and set it up so you, when you reach in, you already have them. Now, you're going to cut them across wise, up and down the tongue. You're not going to, because you want, you want one end 
at least attached. So these are both attached on both ends. So I'm just going to cut little strips. Doesn't have to be big strips. And if it's a big tongue, we go ahead and... So I've got a lot of bait right here really quick. Uh, and that's just one tongue. So, uh, And so I'm going to just uh, look at this one. And this little piece right here, this... This is really soft, as you can see. That's not hookable. Just get rid of it. It's it's a waste. Uh, and then you have this other part here that's just a waste. So uh, now here here's what I was talking about with uh, with having the guts in there. And now you can see the guts uh, in that. So we're just going to cut that guts pile out, pile off, and then we're going to look in there and we're going to get all that goo out of there because we don't want that because that's it's not going to be rubbery won't stay on your hook so so then we are there we go again we're gonna do the same thing and you can go relatively fast you don't have to go slow but these are Milwaukee uh, uh, scissors uh, so you know I got them at uh, that buddy got them for me Jason uh, got them for me and I've had them for about a year so they work really well so now we're gonna look at the bait master difference in the bait master you're gonna have to have scissors or a knife to uh, to get into these and when you look at these they're not quite as colorful so on the beach it does matter and when you look at it they got a lot more looks like a lot more guts in there and then we're just going to try to get all that guts out of there and once again, we can leave them in the whole form. Okay. And we've got a lot of, a lot of just excess stuff here in that bait master. I don't they didn't used to be like that, but they are now. Um, but that's just the, the reality of the situation here. Uh, so we got that all pulled out and you still got some in there. I'm just trying to get it out as much as possible. And just gonna put it back over here on the table. So I'm not gonna look at that. So now I've got this one. There's that little color. So these are a little bit smaller. Uh, if we look at it again, this piece, just push your finger through so that's not worth anything. And then here's that other piece. And I usually, at the Bait Master ones, I cut them one time instead of uh, three times. So a little bit different uh, uh, quality, it looks like, when you go to look at that making the bait so i like the bionic ones the bait master is a legendary company they're just their clams haven't been as good here in the last couple of years but i think they'll increase that do better with that but there's that piece again just going to cut him right there pretty simple you don't have to take your time doing it just get all that stuff out of there put that in a container so you can take it to the beach or put it in the deep be or cut them on the beach and just throw it in the in the water so that's look at all that that's just wasted can't even use it so I don't know why you'd use them and then there's the there's the tongue and there's the belly I'm gonna get rid of that Boom. get that all out of there and there's the tongue so we can uh, salt them lots of different ways uh, but that's what we're kind of looking for on those. And pretty simple. There's that other piece that was just hiding in there. And we'll just cut that one in half too. Now, we have a lot of, uh, of bait here. Uh, just clean this up real quick. And do not throw that in your trash can. Walk it to the dumpster. Uh, your wife will be appreciative of you or a significant other, one, either one. Now I have all of these clams cut up and the next step I'm going to do is I've, I want to dry these off as much as possible, but I'm going to start with my salt and <clears throat> this, and I'm going to make sure I salt my second piece. And a lot of times it's good to let these uh, kind of just sit in there. I'm going to just salt these. You can damp them off if you want. Obviously you can see the fresher. Fresh look the best, don't they? Uh, but I'm just going to over salt these on the top. 
for right now this should dry these out just a little bit and that's the goal if you're on the beach I usually do it on my fishing cart so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that uh, salted side down on this next side and there's those stringers I talked about and here's the tongue so we're just working on there's the full tongue and we're going to really salt these here in a little bit Now remember, this isn't something you have to do. Funny story, uh, I had a friend, his name's Scott, uh, Scott Donalenko. He said, hey, let's get these clams from up north and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna order them. They're gonna be on a five, I think it might've been a, a gallon or a five pound. Uh, and uh, I said, okay. And he goes, will you salt them for me? I said, well, sure. Well, those things showed up at the house, thawed out. Mm. I don't, I don't know how I actually didn't throw up, but they were terrible. But Scott will be laughing right now at this video because uh, it was Jason and I that were salting them. So it was, it was horrific. So here we are. We've got uh, these. Now we're just going to over cover them with salt. We're not, we're not being shy about the salt. We want these to dry up and then they're going to be tough on our hook so then we can cast it if you need to cast 100 yards or 150 yards you can do so uh, and so they'll be tough and when they hit the water they'll be out there just for soaking and then and they'll swell up for you uh, so you're not going to be missing anything so i'm just very simple very simple process some people think salting clams means you get the package out open it up throw some salt in there that's not salting clams <laughs> That is salted clams, but not saltine. So I'm just over salting to get all of the liquid out of there. And I would let this sit right here for an hour. On a hot day, you can leave these out in the sun on the tailgate of your truck, uh, just drying out. I'll just damp them, pat them, just put it just like that so the bugs don't get on them, the bees don't get on them, the salt's gonna that we can protect them anyway. So now we're gonna say that I've already done all the work. These have been sitting for an hour and, or maybe they haven't, but you can see there's still, still some water in there, but we're gonna still do our best uh, that we can with these. Now, I'm just gonna salt these and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up these and put them in that Ziploc bag or in my Talenti. If I'm gonna use a Talenti container, I'm just going to use, I'm gonna grab my, my fresh paper towel. I actually use the, the, the Scott uh, rags for the, uh, for the garage. And I have salt in this, so that it's gonna, this is gonna absorb and it's also going to give you a little bit of, of sucking up the water. So if there's in there now, I, I will take these clams out and I will take that out when when it gets uh, when I'm on the beach, take that out, uh, put it in another Ziploc bag, bring it home and toss it in the dumpster. Uh, but I'm just going to have enough salt in the bottom there because that salt's going to save uh, a lot of time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab each one of these. I'm going to keep the if, if it's wet salt, I'm going to get it off there. But if it's good salt and I'm just going to start tossing these in there. And I'm gonna make sure that I heavily salt it because these are gonna go in the fridge or the freezer. Uh, I put mine in the freezer, but I have an extra freezer here in the garage for just bait. And I'm just picking all the, all the wet salt off there. We're trying to, throwing those in that little container. So then we have those all. And now I'm just gonna keep salting them. Keep salt, 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 salt. You can't have too much salt. It's, uh, I told a guy that one time, and he tells me about every time I see him. You can't have too much salt. The salt's going to just dry it out. And once again, here's that big tongue. So I put those tongues on the very top. Now there's that fresh clam right there. Another fresh one. You can see that color. Very beautiful. So we're gonna, now we're going to cover them up with some more salt. Just going to try to 
get all these salted. So this is this is preparation to go to the beach now. I always like to have the, the tongue like that is a nice nice tongue to have. But I always throw a couple of those on the top when I know I'm going to be fishing first. So they'll be my first bait, and they're already cut, and I just reach in there and grab them uh, with the salted clam on my pompano rig. Or... And there's another one. And there's my last one I'm going to oversalt again. Oh, we got one more piece in there. So this salt's pretty much wasted because it's wet and soggy. Uh, you won't use that again. So I'm just gonna have this all salted. And now there we are, I'm looking in there. Not to Linty. don't let anybody eat this. <laughs> it would be a way, way bad experiment. But now I'm set uh, to go to the beach the next time. Now, as long as you keep this in the freezer or the fridge, uh, you should uh, they should stay perfectly fine if you've salted them enough. Uh, so very simple, easy container, recycle if you can. Uh, and then that paper towel is just going to keep soaking up moisture. So you'll just put another one in there after you're at the beach the next time. This is this is enough for two fishing trips, maybe three, um, depending on if the fish are biting. So good luck. Let me know if this helps. So like I said, if, if you don't want to do the salted clams like this, feel free to reach out to uh, Killian and Angela at Native Salted Clams. Uh, native salted baits uh, but you can order them in different colors uh, you can just get the clam necks you can get the stringers uh, if you're going offshore they've got uh, clam clam bellies also so and uh, I heard those are awesome I don't I haven't fished offshore with them but I hear they just sink to the bottom and the bite is on so a uh, little information so you can order a lot of different ones uh, look at local shops uh, I know Ganung's carries them in the area and Strike Zone carries them in this area. I'm not sure if anybody else does. That's just where I've seen them. Uh, but I was lucky enough to fish with Killian one day and look forward to meeting Angela. But uh, there they are. Uh, if you, you can order them online uh, from his little shop. Have a good day.